Hi everyone and welcome back, it's Vicky here with 10 plus 1 cards today using glitter paste. Now there are lots of glitter pastes in the market, today I'm going to work with Ising Diamond. This is not a sponsored video, it is a product that I found and played with while I was uh, visiting Creativation this year and I just had to use it. Now this uh, product comes in 24 different colors, I have a few here and um, it comes in this uh, lovely packaging which I absolutely love just because it doesn't let air come inside which means that it's going to stay nice and uh, wet for as long as you need it. I already shared the video where I used the green one in a card. This is the card that I made about a week ago, I believe. This is completely dry and it doesn't come out at all on my hand, not even just a chunk of glitter, which is absolutely perfect because you can have glitter on top of your projects without the mess. Now this medium is called paint and you can actually use brass and color with it as if it is paint but please keep in mind that there is no paint inside. The color that you see comes from the colored glitter and there is some transparent medium that keeps all that glitter together. Now I'm going to take a little bit with my spatula and uh, I want you to see how concentrated glitter there is in this product so it is going to give a nice coverage and I'm just going to apply it with my spatula on both black and and white paper so you can see how concentrated it is and again this is glitter not paint and here is a close-up look on the opening you just open up the top and you can uh, take your uh, paste you can take a little every time so you don't waste it and the good thing is that it doesn't let air come through I will be creating loads of cards today using these pastes, but before we start, let's take a look at the white one so you can see the coverage over black cardstock. This medium can be used not only with a spatula over a stencil, for example, but also with a brush. So this is actually paint that you can work with with your brush. It is water-based, so you will have no problem at all cleaning up your brushes. So you can see here how I can apply a coat, a thin coat of this paste which is great if you want to add a touch of uh, sparkle on your projects. And since it is water-based, you can dilute this with water, but since uh, with water you will be diluting the glue that is actually inside this product, this might interfere with how good the glitter will stick on your project, so keep that in mind. Finally, this is a paint for any surface, which means that it's not only for paper, it will stick on fabric, for example, you can use it on ceramic, metal, and I'm planning to use some stencils to decorate my apron as well as make some reusable tote bags. And they will be washable if you iron them after they are dry. But I might make a video, let me know in the comments below if you want to see such projects. So let's move on and start making some backgrounds. I am going to make a bunch of backgrounds and then let them dry and I will turn them into cards at the end of this video. I'm always securing down my stencil with some purple tape and uh, you will find everything I'm using in this video linked down below in the description area but as I'm working on you will be able to see on your screen the color of the Ising Diamond paint that I'm using as well as the name of the stencil. So that was Caribbean Blue, just gorgeous color. I am uh, adding the paste over a stencil and letting everything dry on the side so I'm moving on and this time I'm going to use a couple of colors and I'm going to go for an ombre look so again with my spatula I'm going to apply the paste over the top part of my stencil and then on the bottom I'm going to go on another color and I think that these colors go beautifully together and you can see how nicely they blend when those two colors touch and I'm going to leave the stencil for the big reveal I'm going to leave this background aside to dry and let's move on to another combo now this time I'm going with uh, white over white this is going to create a lovely background really subtle but um, it is going to have sparkle as well as texture on top you cannot go wrong with this recipe glitter white over white, it's going to turn into a really elegant background. Now this time I'm using the gold paste and uh, as you can tell I had lots of fun playing with those pastes and instead of just making simple uh, swatches I decided that it would be more fun for me and for you to watch to create actual backgrounds that I can turn later into cards. 
Here I worked over black cardstock and you can see the lovely contrast. I think this looks amazing. Here again I'm working over black cardstock, I'm applying the silver paste over this beautiful stencil. All the stencils that I'm working with today are by Altenew by the way. Now here I'm using the blue paste and I'm going to apply it over this stencil. This is the Cube Builder stencil, it's really fun to work with. I have applied the first color and then after this was completely dry I went back and um, Place the stencil on top and all you do is to just flip it, making sure that it covers the previous design and then I will use a lighter shade of blue and I'm going to lift the stencil for you so you can see the result. It's really fun to create such backgrounds and you can see some imperfections here but I'm going to show you later on when everything is dry how you can clean up little bits and pieces from stenciling. Now here I'm back with the white and this time I'm applying it over pink cardstock. This is uh, going to turn into a tone on tone look which is lovely and elegant. Now for the next example I'm going to combine two different pastes to color a flower through this stencil. So first I'm going to use the peach pink for the flower and then for the bottom I'm going to use the clear green. And here you can see I used some purple tape to mask off a part of the stem so that I don't make a mess. But since my uh, pink is not dry yet, now I have to be super careful with my paste so that I don't make a mess on top of the flower. And uh, when I end up with such a sparkly flower on top of my panel, I don't really need to do a lot to turn it into a card. It's already gorgeous with all that sparkle. And this is where I decided to try and create my own glitter cardstock. So I'm going to apply with my spatula a very thin layer of this uh, light green paste. And I'm going to let it dry and then later on I'm going to try and cut out some leaves out of this paper. And this is where I can't stop, I keep playing with the paste and my stencil, so I grabbed another stencil and again with the clear green paste I'm going over it. Here is another gorgeous color that I got, this is the pastel green and again there are 24 different colors, I'm only showing you here I believe 12 of those. And finally I'm going to work over this uh, gorgeous butterfly stencil. I am going to do a complete uh, mix of those two pastes that I'm using. In the beginning I was going for the ombre effect like I did in a previous panel, but then I thought why not mix completely those two colors and see what I get. So here I am applying the violet only on the outside of the butterfly wings. But here is where I decided let's go for it and see what we get if we mix completely those two colors. And I think that those two colors go beautifully together and you will see that the end result is just stunning. And I'm going to show you a swatch of those three colors. So here is the copper, the violet and the third color that you get when you mix those two together. Lovely combination and you can make so many different colors if you start mixing them up. So everything is dry now and here is a bunch of uh, panels that I have ready for creating cards. Now I am going to make cards with all of them, making sure that I keep them quite simple since I have all that glitter there. And I have a couple of them that have some smudges. So first, before I start making the cards, I'm going to show you how easy it is to clean them up. So you can see all the gorgeous colors here, nice and dry. And there are some smudges here too, so I'm going to leave them to the side. And uh, I'm going to use my knife here. This is not paint again, this is just glitter that is stuck on top of the cardstock. So by just scrapping with a knife, you will be able to remove it completely. And I'm going to do the same thing from some areas here where I did some mistakes while I was doing the stenciling. So if you end up with some smudges here and there, which is completely normal when you are doing uh, such a messy job, don't be afraid of them, just let them dry completely and scrape them off. 
Now I'm going to take you quickly through the process of turning all those gorgeous backgrounds into cards. I'm going to keep everything quite simple. And let's start with the first one. So here is uh, the glitter cardstock that I created. I'm just running it through my tiny little uh, die cutting machine there to cut out uh, leaves. And they turned out beautiful. So for this card, I went with the white on white background and I have some glitter sticking out of the panels. It's really easy to knit everything by just using your scissors. I'm going to stick that on a pink panel by using foam tape at the back. Now for my focal point, I have already cut out two pieces out of uh, colored cardstock. I'm going to stick one on top of the other to create a lovely effect and there are actually more layers for this uh, flower which I'm not going to use today. It looks uh, beautiful as it is already. And these come from the Garden Picks 3D die. You will find everything linked down below. And here is the finished card where you can see all the sparkle on those leaves. And I also die cut the word love to complete my card. At the end of the video you will see close-up photos on all the cards that I made for today as well as on my blog. Now for the next card I'm using bits and pieces that I have cut out from the new baby number 2 C6 die. Now that's a card that I'm making for my sister-in-law. She just had twin girls and of course you can uh, use the same design by customize it based on where you want to give the card to. So just switch the colors or add only one onesie to make it your own. Now these are really adorable. There are little pieces that you can stick on top to get all the details on them. And there is a little birdie that you can stick on top as well. And there are many different ways to place those on top of your card. I decided to nest them close to the congrats cutout. And my card is ready. Now here is the card with the butterfly. Just gorgeous. Kept everything simple. I just used a card base that is the same color as my butterfly. And I stamped and embossed the sentiment on top of a very thin strip of black cardstock. Now for this panel with those leaves, I'm going to follow that line and cut it out with my scissors. This is going to create a lovely and very interesting panel with a glitter and an unusual shape. I absolutely love green with uh, brown. I think that this combination creates a very earthy looking uh, card that is perfect for both men and women. So all I'm going to do is to just stick the sentiment at the very bottom as well as a very thin strip of that uh, chocolate brown cardstock. And let's move on to this gorgeous panel that I have created. With this one you really don't have to do a lot. It is stunning as it is. All I'm going to do is to just stick a sentiment on top and I'm ready to go. Here is another card that I created, which is really simple to recreate. I just chopped off a part of this background and I stamped uh, my sentiment in between. And both those panels have foam tape at the back for some dimension. Here is another gorgeous one with the flower. So all I did was to make the panel slightly smaller so that you can see another colored cardstock underneath on the side. And I cut out the word friend out of black cardstock. Here is another one of my blue cards. This is where I used one of my circle dies to cut out a part of this panel. I placed the panel on top of my card base with foam tape at the back and then stamped inside that circle my sentiment. Both those sentiments are summer sentiments and they come for a very old uh, stamp set by Simon Says Stamp. It's the See You Soon stamp set. I don't know if it is available. If it is, you will find the link down below. Now let's move on to the silver panel. I can definitely see a line here. So I'm going to use my scissors to cut along this line just to make a panel more interesting. And then all I did was to stick this panel on top of my card base, stamped my sentiment along that line and I have a lovely card ready to go. And here is the golden uh, panel. This is uh, really simple again. I just cut out the word star and completed my sentiment with the phrase you are a. And here is the last one for today where I used uh, two pieces of this uh, glitter panel at the back so you get some shine. I just cut out the word love out of cardstock that matches the color of the glitter. 
And I also stuck down a tiny little enamel uh, heart. This comes from these Alte New packs. And I found that this heart really matched the color of the glitter. So here are all the cards that I made for today while I was playing with my new Ising diamond paints. You will find that this glitter is really addictive and you will want to grab all the stencils that you have on your stash to create lovely backgrounds that you can turn later on into cards. As always you will find links to everything I used down below in the description area. Here are some close-up photos on all the projects that I made for today. I hope that you had fun and that you got inspired. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you all next time.